the goal for this team right now is to get us in line with the federal standards for a nationally certified and accredited SWAT team. We're on par right now to get that goal accomplished probably by 2017. Public Affairs with an inside look at emergency services team training. For many years, an Air Force Emergency Services Team, or EST, has trained within the Security Forces Squadron at Mountain Home Air Force Base. Similar to a civilian SWAT, EST responds to crisis situations. The base EST program was revamped in 2014. Gunfighter Public Affairs was given an inside look at their training, and the first stop was tryouts. Ten seconds. Push, push, push. Oh. Uh. To make the team, airmen first need to do some sprints, then a half mile run, drag, and carry a 200 pound dummy, push ups, sit ups, break through a barrier, another half mile run in a gas mask, survive two minutes against a red man, then finish it with some pull ups. Oh. Nice work. Out of work. How are you feeling? I don't want to say it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I feel pretty good. <sighs> On a scale from 1 to 10, how hard was that? <sighs> 12. <laughs> good job. It was rough. <laughs> good job. Curious myself, I took a break from filming and attempted the dummy drag. Clearly, go. I need to hit the gym. Beast! <laughs> Tryouts are held about once a month and are specifically designed to test airmen the same way they would be challenged in a crisis situation. We do this just to make sure that they can accomplish all the uh, team objectives uh, for the SWAT operations that we go out and conduct. Uh, these guys need to be able to, to move people to defend themselves, uh, to be able to break into doors when we need to, uh, the full spectrum of, of our operations. There you go, back them up. Push them off and then use your tool. There you go. Next, we followed some new recruits to live fire training at night. This is a technique so the EST can stay vigilant for situations that may occur in low light. It's going to be low light all night long. Okay. Next course of fire, we're going to bring another person. There's going to be two of you. Okay. There's going to be two of you guys doing it. Same process as before. Their process was to break the barrier, identify the enemy among friendly targets, move it, move. and take them out. We come out and we conduct the training at night so that we can conduct operations in the, the full spectrum from you know, 6 o'clock in the morning until uh, you know, 2 o'clock the next morning if we needed to. In part two, EST practices building clearing and I participate as the hostage. There we go. 